Good morning, everybody. Rick here. Today is Wednesday, February 7th. Time is 8.21 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, I have been in this trade uh, since we have touched, uh, let's see, what is this? The negative 5 deviation, 62.89. Uh, hang on one second. Let me take a screenshot real quick of my platform. Save that. Save that. Open file. All right. Okay. So here is where we are at right now. I am long five contracts. I was long ten contracts. Sixty-two ninety-three. Um, and I pulled half off at sixty-three oh three, and now I'm holding five contracts. All I've done is move my stop to break even. And I am just going to let this uh, joker run as much as I can. I'm not plan on uh, pilling too much right now. So this has to be a quick trading day for me because I have some work I have to get done around the house here and uh, prepare for class this afternoon. So uh, what I was seeing, uh, this was back at uh, 7.20 a.m. Uh, we had a really decent reversal sequence coming in right here uh, with the uh, volume coming in, uh, total volume in the uh, delta uh, was uh, fairly significant for this pre-market trade. Count it back 9 to 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, which lined up nicely with the uh, negative five deviation line. Now, the plan was to set a limit order there, but all this moved quick, so I caught it a little bit later because uh, it bounced down. And then, uh, typically, how these things work is an immediate shoot up, and that's what happened. So, um, as I was adjusting, I just changed it to a market order to get in at ninety three, and now just riding this for a while. So, I will probably where are we at twenty eight. Twenty three oh three thirteen twenty three twenty three. Okay, we've touched there. Alright, I'm gonna set a limit to pull two off at twenty three for thirty ticks and then I will just let the less rest ride twenty three submit yeah we'll go that route there so we'll see if we can get two off at 23 uh, for 30 ticks that will leave me three contracts long at that point and uh, we will let's see what is 100 ticks 6393 that's way up here Okay, because I'm not going to actively watch this market today, I'm going to just set this one up uh, at that point. I'm going to leave my stop at break even for now. Here at 93. Uh, let me go back here. 93. Actually, I'm going to lock in a little bit of profit there. Let me see where I can come up to. 96. 96 is going to be my stop. Okay. Is that the one? That is the one. 96. Alright, so that'll lock in three ticks from that point there. Alright, guys, so um, I'm going to uh, set the alerts up. On, on my phone because it'll trigger audible and I'll be back when something happens at that point. Alright guys, see you in a few. Okay guys, that uh, must have been a decent push up at this point. Two came off at 63.25 so I think that is for 32 ticks. So that leaves me three contracts long um, and I'm just going to leave my stop where it is for the moment. So let me adjust my contracts and 
I'll just let it play out from this point. All right, I'll be back. Hey, guys. All right. Well, let me get you caught up. I am happy to say today is the first 100 tick day of the year for me. <laughs> and it's kind of anticlimactic because uh, we have EIA in about oh, 15 minutes or so. So I was hoping to still be up in this trade, but uh, everything closed at uh, 63.93. So up here, so it hit that one uh, <laughs> within one tick too before some type of reversal. So uh, this is about as perfect as you can get. So I caught it down here uh, this morning <clears throat> at uh, 62.92 or 93. 92, 93, I forget. Uh, so my chart should close. I got to pull it back up. Um, and then I pulled half off uh, 10 ticks. And then um, I did pull another one off somewhere. Anyway, I ended up closing. With, I pulled one off at um, 72. Actually, let me just pull up my chart and see. Uh, what has all happened? Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. that ain't it. Working complete. Is that it? Okay. Anyway, um, I rode this all the way up from uh ninety two ninety three up to the. Uh, and it closed at 93, so I'm guessing that's when uh, I had entered that there. So, uh, and it came off. I had two t uh two contracts riding all the way up for a hundred ticks. So, needless to say, uh, profitable day. So the best one of the year yet. And I am going to wrap this up. I would I'll probably stick around to watch EIA happen. Let me see what Forex Factory has seen or. Actually, I'll uh, pause the video and yeah, let me pause the video real quick. Let me go read what's going on with Tanker Trackers and Forex Factory and then I'll be back in just a bit. All right, uh, hold on. Okay, guys, uh, just got done reading. Forex Factory has a forecast of 3.2 million barrels. Uh, Tanker Trackers and just reading the hashtag OOTT stuff on Twitter is uh, showing a surplus. So, which means the market should drop inventories. Who knows? <laughs> so, we'll see. It's actually going to be firing off in about five minutes or so. All right. I went ahead and uh, marked up the uh, found, listed my, took a screenshot of the trade. So, <clears throat> 10 contracts this morning at 62.93. I uh, got half off at 63.08 right here. Um, let's see what was next. Uh, pulled two off at 63.25 and one off I did manually at 63.72 and then the final two came off at 63.93 for 100 ticks at that point there. So, all right, guys, good day. And let's see, we are deep into overbought, and it's starting to come on back down now. And according to uh, <clears throat> the uh, other oil traders, it should be falling. So we'll see in five minutes, but I'm not going to record that. So, all right, guys, have a good day, and um, I should be around tomorrow as well. All right.